Hey friends, uh, we are back with another video today. Uh, as India lockdown has been extended till the first week of May, uh, with some relaxation in industries and uh, self-employed people, it is important to know what is allowed and what is not allowed. So first, let us see what is allowed. Uh, financial sectors such as RBI, banks, ATMs, uh, capital and stock market and debt markets are allowed. And again, uh, supply chain of uh, essential goods and uh, transportation of goods without any distinction of essential or non-essential is allowed. And uh, farming operations, including procurement of agricultural products, agriculture marketing through notified mandis and uh, direct and decentralized marketing, manufacture, uh, distribution and retail of fertilizer, pesticides and seeds are allowed. Activities of marine and inland fisheries are allowed. Animal husbandry activities, uh, including the supply chain of milk, milk products, uh, poultry and uh, livestock farming is allowed. And tea, coffee, rubber plantations are allowed. This is very important. And health services are allowed. Social sector, uh, industries operating in rural areas, including food processing industries are allowed. Construction of roads, irrigation projects, buildings and industrial projects in rural areas are allowed. Works under MNRE GA with uh, priority to irrigation and water conservation works are allowed. Operation in uh, rural common service centers is allowed. Manufacturing and other industrial establishments with access control in SCZs, EOUs, industrial estates and industrial townships are allowed. Manufacture of IT hardware and of essential goods and packaging is allowed. Coal, mineral and oil production is allowed. Uh, E-commerce operations are allowed. And operations of IT and IT enabled services are allowed. Uh, data and call centers for government activities, online teaching and distance learning are allowed. So now let's see what is not allowed. Travel by air, flight, uh, rail and roads are not allowed. Operations of educational and uh, training institutions are not allowed. Uh, industrial and uh, commercial activities cannot operate. Hospitality services like hotels cannot work. All cinema halls, uh, shopping, complexes, theatres and etc. are not allowed. All social, political and other events are not allowed at all. Opening of religious places, places of worship for members of the public, including religions, congregations are not allowed. So in addition, the use of homemade face covers are like masks at workplaces and in public places is now mandatory. People have been asked to maintain strong hygiene and healthcare measures like provision of uh, sanitizers, staggered ships, access control, thermal screening and imposing fines for spitting in public places have been implemented. In sum, the revised condition and guidelines are aimed at operating uh, those sectors of the economy uh, which are critical from the perspective of uh, rural and agricultural development and job creation while maintaining strict protocols in areas where safety is a paramount to contain uh, the spread of COVID-19 in the country. Uh, that's, this is what the revised guidelines uh, is given for the entire public of the country. So lockdown is very important. Uh, stay safe, stay well. Uh, it's very important to maintain social distancing when you're talking to people, when you're interacting with people. So stay safe, stay well. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you.